Who wants to climb a cinder cone? Are you with me? Hiking Red Hill From the Highway 14 and Highway 395 Junction Drive north for 20 miles to Cinder Road There is more than one way to access Red Hill I chose to drive around its east side to a wide parking area The difficulty rating is easy due to low mileage But it is definitely on the high end of easy The hike begins I can't think of anything better to do on a third degree day climbing this mountain. The hike begins by crossing a black sandy field on the way to the cone. The way up is a bit of a blank canvas. I was left to choose my own route. The sand becomes more clumpy and rocky on the way up. Slow going while route finding. I found myself cutting across the slope at an angle to gradually climb the cone. Slipping and sliding on the way up. Making steady progress. Reaching the summit plateau. On the summit of Red Hill. The summit of Red Butte. Victory is sweet. In retrospect, route to the west. That would have been a better way to go, but that's the way it goes. I'm parked way over there. No buyer's remorse when standing on the summit. Heading back down while descending the ridge. Before long, I broke away and made a beeline descent back to flat land. It took only 10 minutes to go all the way back to the car. That's because the screen skiing went very well. The fun downhill made up for the steep climb. The 
scenery was not too shabby either. Tracing some steps back to Flatland. Dealing with a runaway train near the bottom. When bottoming out, victory was mine. Gazing back at Red Hill. The 10 minute descent was way quicker than expected. Mission accomplished. Taking advantage of the shadows to ham it up for both of my viewers. No matter the route taken up, the destination is worth the effort.